Uh, I just wanted to do a quick show. This place is actually really important for me. I actually uh, had my bachelor party here. Yeah. I proposed to my wife here a little while ago, actually. That's right. And uh, I'm now doing my divorce poetry here. So. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> So let's pretend that you have my undivided, undeserved, immaculate attention. And that you could understand that my intentions were mentioned via artificial intelligence that was as misrepresented as my benevolence that was misguided and disguised as repentance, but that's not that relevant. It's not the end of it. And let's pretend that your effervescence wasn't sentenced or penance, but practiced and perfected the same way it was invented like you meant it and allowed to be alive and regenerate and replenish because that would have been generous. And we can pretend that I am no longer a common belonger. I've bled my common blood and what's left me has made me stronger and peacemonger. And I can finally imply that I struggle no longer. I've crystal captured my honor. I'm going, going, gone. So call me Gunner. So you pretend, so you pretend, so please keep those sideways ways you play me. I am no longer waiting for you to just debone and fillet me and reverse scenario princess dragon slay me. So pretend, pretend, pretend that you ever could have known the strange me because I'll wager I know you like woods to a ranger, but what's even stranger is I was the one always in danger of your metaphorical fangs just hanging around my throat just like jets in a hangar just waiting and praying that we won't have to hang her or changer, or choker, me joker. Because now she's the stranger backstage, but not awful or evil, just people. But I'll always believe, believe, believe that I failed her. And pretend, pretend, pretend I'm a savior. So please save your thoughts for later, and let me save you the seconds left alive, because you know I'm not trying to die without the poems that I gave her.